Hey everyone, it's Kim with All Bar New. I am back today with another tutorial for one of our new kits. It is the standalone 3D Trick or Treat Candy Corn. I always want to say candy cane. <laughs> I guess because I don't like candy corns. Um, so this actually comes with the 3D piece, the Trick or Treat. And it comes with a little bat. Now your kit comes in three pieces because you know we have to glue these together in order for them to stand up. So before we get started, you want to grab a few things. You want to grab some water, just an old container with some water in it. You want to grab some paper towels, your brushes, baby wipes if you have them, and a hair dryer um, if you just have one near and, and one you can just use. If not, no big deal. You can just put it to the side and it'll, it'll dry. Um, you see my puppy dog walking around the back. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Let me adjust the, the camera so you can see at the bottom. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to glue our stuff together. So you get two paint brushes in this kit. One of them is going to be for, let me adjust this just a little bit. Okay, one is going to be for your glue and the other one is going to be to paint. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to glue this thing together. Okay, so what I do is I flip the bottom one down and the two top I flip over and I'm going to grab my wood glue and I'm going to have to grab another one because I just did another tutorial and I used a lot of it for that one. Okay, so I'm just going to scoop it up just like this and I'm going to run it down. Okay, I'm going to just run it down everywhere. Now, I'm not getting close to the sides because I don't want it to ooze out the sides. And just get in the middle, spread it around a little bit. All right, let me grab some more. Hold on one second. I didn't refill it when I grabbed it. So let me do that real quick. Let me just grab another one. All right, so I'm just going to kind of splot it all around and move it all around. And it doesn't spread like the paint does, so. All right, so we're going to take this one and we're going to put it down. Now yours is just going to have one with the scoring lines, with the paint lines. So the one that doesn't that does have the paint lines, that one goes on top. The other ones go in the middle like so. All right, so I got it. I'm just the lighting is not good right now for this for some reason. I don't know why. I'm sorry. Um, so I'm just gonna push this down, and I'm gonna get my glue again. And again, this one is not gonna have the design on it, so you'll know that it goes in the middle. So I'm just going to keep spreading it out. I'm putting a lot on here just for time's sake. You don't need this much. All right. So I'm going to put that in my water. All right. This one has the design on top. So just make sure the bottom is going to be nice and straight. So it stands. All right, and when you get it all lined up, so you're just gonna line it up and hold it down. So these are all cut with a laser, so they are exact. So they're gonna put together just like a puzzle. You can stand it up, make sure it's gonna stand for you. Perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with painting. Let me pull up my picture. All right, so I'm gonna start with my orange. And you can paint this any kind of way. You don't have to paint it like me. You can do your orange up at the top. You don't have to start it at the bottom. Just gonna run my line. So remember, all of our designs have the paint line etched in it, so it's easy to paint. Kind of like paint by number. 
This is paint by number on wood. So this one is a pretty easy design. It can go really cute with any of your fall or your Halloween decor. Um, if you want it for fall, because, I mean, candy corns can be for fall. I wouldn't put the name on it, or the name, the trick or treat. I would just leave it be. And then once, I'm pretty sure you can get some Velcro from Home Depot. So if you want, just put a little piece of Velcro on the back and you can put it on there. That way you can use it for both fall and Halloween. And then when Halloween comes around, just, just put it on there. You can actually use a little bit of um, hot glue because hot glue doesn't stay forever. So just put a little dot on there and you can just take it off. Just be careful when you take it off because it can, it can break in half. All right, so I'm done with my first coat of orange. I'm just making sure it's not moving around. It shouldn't. Do y'all see all the glitter everywhere? So I was just doing the tutorial for the new witch's boot. And I had this amazing idea to put glitter on it. And, well, I suggested it for you guys to do, but it became a reality. So that, that video is a hot mess. Yep. All right, sorry about that. My timer went off. All right, now I'm going to do my yellow. So for time's sake, I grabbed my bigger brush just because it's taken me quite a, a while to get these background colors and I don't want to keep y'all on here forever. I feel like the quickest and the simplest video that I can show you guys, it works because who wants to sit there and watch a video drawn, dragged out? All right, now as y'all are painting, just make sure this isn't moving. Mine moved a little bit. You really should put it to the side and let it dry um, once you put that wood glue on. But, I mean, it, you can move it back before it dries. And you also want to make sure that it's all... You may have to push it down some more. And you want to do that before it dries. All right, so I'm going to paint the second coat of orange. All right, so I got my orange. I'm gonna wash my brush out. My water's kind of dirty from earlier. Let me go wash my brush. Hold on one second. You know, let me grab some new water. Okay, now I've got some semi-clean water. I'm going to start with my white, or do another coat on my, with my white. Ah, look what I just did. All right, this is where baby wipes come in good. So you take the baby wipe, you just wipe it, and it goes away. It's like the magic eraser. All right, let me wash my brush again, since this one's being a little stubborn with that orange. All right, just gonna run it back across. Okay, now I'm going to wash my brush and now I'm gonna do the yellow. This is an easy, simple kit. 
and it's fun. Anything to do with painting is fun. That's just my opinion. Although I don't like painting houses. I don't like painting the walls. I don't like painting outside. I don't like painting decks. That's no fun. And that's what we're about to start doing in my house. When the weather gets a little cooler. Now, I'm not looking forward to it. Now, if I, could, if I can paint things on it, maybe that'd be different. But, so when my oldest was born, TLC had that um, trading spaces or switching spaces or whatever it is. Yeah, we did a couple things in our house that uh, you would see on trading spaces and my husband threw a fit. So he'll never <laughs> let me do that again. Never, ever, ever. All right, I'm putting this to the side. I'm going to grab my wording in my bat. I'm going to grab my black. And I'm also going to grab the paintbrush. And I'm just going to paint these little things really quick. So you're going to get a little dabber in your kit for this so you can go up and down and dab on this so it covers a little better and it's a little faster. Um, sometimes it's these and sometimes it's the makeup sponges. It just depends on what we can get in that week. I feel like we've been through a hurricane and we can't get supplies, but really we've been through COVID and we still can't get supplies. So it's getting better. But now the, we haven't, we're having issues with the uh, post office not getting us the packages. So if it's not one thing, it's the other. And I'm just either dabbing it or just kind of brushing it across. You don't have to do like you do the stencil. You don't have to go up and down or nothing special. No special way. All right, so I've got my first one, first layer on there. Now I'm just going to do the bat one more time. I guess it depends on the mood I am, I'm in, if I'm going to do it twice or not, because most of the time I just do one layer. Today I've been doing two layers of everything. All right, so I've got my little bat. He's done. And then I'm just going to wait for this to dry. And I'm going to do a second coat. Okay, so if you don't have paint pens, you can use it. You can use this brush for this step. What we're just going to do is we're going to outline this with the black once it dries. And we're going to make a couple of, um, I call them Frankenstein, like little designs on it. Because that's just what it makes me think of when I do these designs. Not quite sure what the right name of it is. But we'll go with Frankenstein. Okay, so you can throw these brushes away or these little dabbers away or you can rinse them out and reuse them. I'm just going to put this on the side. All right, now I'm going to put my trick or treat to the side so that can dry. Wipe some of that off. All right, so this isn't, well, maybe it's dry. Okay, let me grab the paint that I used so I can show you. We still haven't moved everything back from when we had to move everything to get the second machine in. So I'm working from the shipping table and my craft table and everything else. So I get the pot, Posca pins. 
They're on Amazon. I get the set that has three. They're black and they're white. And it comes small, medium, and large. I use the medium for just about everything. But I also use the large sometimes too. Okay, so now we are going to... Um, I, I think I'm going to outline it in the, in the big one because I want it to really stand out. So I'm just going to kind of just trace the shape. Doesn't have to be perfect. So you can do this with your paint, with your paintbrush. It's super easy. Just take it and you're gonna run it along the side like this. You're gonna go sideways, just like that. Okay, make sure you load your paint on your paintbrush first. I got black on my white. All right. This just saves me some time because they dry quicker and I can take a picture of this right away. All right, so I'm just going around. Again, I'm just outlining it. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, now I am going to, um, so I think I'm going to run one right here, and then I'm going to put one up here. Okay, now I'm going to take my medium Sharpie, a uh, Sharpie. <laughs> my medium paint pen and this is what I'm going to do the lines in I think yep this works so it's either going to be that or the big one but I like how this one is all right and then I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna do this one and then I think I'm gonna do one right here Okay, now I'm going to take my paintbrush, I'm going to take my white, and I'm just going to kind of put some highlights Don't have to do very much. Just grab some paint, and you're just going to kind of run it around. Kind of like so, okay? And then I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna do the same thing up here. I'm just gonna run a line just to kind of give it some, some extra. And you can do some more, you can do some squiggly lines. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do, I may put another one right here. But I don't, I don't think I wanna do much more. Okay, so now that I've got that, now if you paint the sides like I did, see how I accidentally painted the sides white? You can take your black and just black it out. You can just paint it black real quick. Okay, so now I need to get my little bat, and I think I want to hang it off like that. Let me get, you know, let me hit this with the blow dryer real quick. Hang on one second. So this is going to go right here, like so, I got a little black on my white, that's okay, and then maybe that'll go like this. I kind of want it hanging off though. Okay, 
So what you're going to do is you're going to take your other brush that you got. Um, actually, you can use the one that you used before with all the glue on it. If you put it in a little water, it kept it, it kept it a little moist. So I'm going to grab my glue. Is this the glue I had? Maybe. I'm going to put some glue and I'm going to, if you want it to hang off, I'm going to put my hand, my finger right here. So I know don't go past there with the glue. Okay, so I'm just going to glue him on, just like so. Maybe turn him a little bit. Okay, then I'm going to take my wording, and I'm going to grab some glue, and I'm just going to put it, I'm going to put it on each letter, but I'm going to put it on the thickest part of the letter. So I'm not going to put it on the real thin. Just going to put it on the thick parts. So see just the thick parts that's all i'm putting it on these aren't really going to be messed with um now if you put them on a table outside you do need to seal it any of our projects that you put outside you have to seal just make sure it's clear sealer okay so i put all my glue on and now i'm going to line it up like i wanted it Just like that, I'm just gonna push down. My little bat keeps wanting to fly away. Okay, and after you do this, so my trick or treat fits perfect right here. This is where it should go. Um, if you wanna move the bat anywhere, if you wanna put it over here a little closer, that's fine. You can put the bat wherever you want. If you wanna put a little extra design up there, you can. But this is kinda of where I designed it to go. So this is how it's going to look. Oh, super cute, huh? That is so cute. And again, if you have any of your glue that came out on the side or anything like that, just go ahead and paint it with the black. And then your candy. Now this is going to be kind of hard for me to stand up right here because I've got a bump in the table, but you see it stands. Now it is kind of wobbly because of how the, the thing is. So you want to put it somewhere where it's not going to completely fall if somebody walks hard. If you have a raised house, somebody walks hard like my kids. But for the most part, it is going to stand by itself. It's just, I loved this shape of the candy corn. I don't like the, the real square ones. The square ones just don't do anything for me. So, come on. There we go. All right, y'all, I hope you had fun with this one. This one was so easy. Um, you can grab our witch boots. That's also a shelf sitter. Um, that's the one I kind of went sideways and did glitter with. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to do the glitter. Um, I just said, you know, it'd be a good idea to do the glitter. And well, I had the colors I needed and I just did it. So now I've got glitter everywhere because I was not expecting to do glitter. This would look really cute next to it, along with our porch pumpkin or our um, palette pumpkin. You can put these inside, outside. You can put them on your fireplace, um, on your entertainment center, on any of the shelves, anything like that. Just make sure you seal it if you put it outside. All right, y'all. I will see you next time. Um, I think I am about to do a palette scarecrow. So that is another one that we're releasing today. So we have four that we're releasing today. And they're all on our website, shopallbarnew.com. All right, y'all. See you in a little while.